A Sacramento man is suspected of killing his stepfather in their Rosemont neighborhood home. Fox 40's Jeannie Nguyen live there right now to explain what investigators believed happened. Jeannie. Nikki, that stepson is now in custody, and it's still very much an active scene here. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see. It has cleared up a bit, but deputies with the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office have been out here all day investigating this deadly shooting, and neighbors tell me they can't believe something like this would happen so close to home. Just before 9 this morning. One of their family members had been shot by another family member inside of this residence. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says they got a call that came from someone on Avante Way in Rosemont. One of the family members had been shot uh, by their child, adult child. The Sheriff's Office says the victim was a suspect's stepfather. He did not survive. The suspect in his early 20s quickly left the scene following the shooting. Deputies were able to detain that subject uh, fairly close to the residence. And after living in this neighborhood for three years, Ryan Copeland couldn't believe what he was seeing when he woke up this morning. Once they rolled out the crime scene tape, I thought, oh, there's a little something more serious going on here. Once he realized what happened, Copeland says he and his neighbors were shocked this would happen in such a quiet neighborhood. I've done the neighborly drive-by with a, with a wave, but that's about it. You know, I've never, never spoken with the father or have any interaction with the kids or whoever lives there. At the moment, the sheriff's office says they are still investigating the motive, but believe something else may have caused this. My understanding is that there may be a mental health component to it. It's an issue Copeland believes is a continuous problem in the community. It just shows the mental health is a serious thing. We have a huge, you know, a major problem with mental health, and this, this can be what happens. And while the sheriff's office says it's an isolated incident, Copeland can't help but feel for the family involved. Oh, my heart goes out to them. I'm so sorry for their loss. This is a very sad incident, very tragic. Now, the identities of the victim and the suspect is still unknown at this moment. And, of course, this investigation is still ongoing. Live in Rosemont, Jeannie Nguyen, Fox 40 News.